Uh, yeah, you guys are ready to start whenever. Alright, looks like these two players are about to get ready. Did they just start without... Okay. I'll kick their butts. <laughs> Alright, look at them both in the rolling position ready. Yeah. Alright. Tetris, here we go. Now we've got this boring old 18 to get out of the way until these two get to, to transition and then we'll, we'll get a little more action. Uh, Opox with a very nice sloping stack. Hydrange slams down Tetris along with Opox, simul Tetris. Hydrange pulling one Tetris ahead, but Opox still hasn't burned yet, so just waiting for another long bar. Routed, but boom, there's a Tetris. Hydrant, a bit of a misdrop drop on the left. It might be a bit difficult to get another Tetris anytime soon. Oh, pretty nice burn from Hydrant. Now there's a semblance of a Tetris wall ready, but it's just a dependency for now. Meanwhile, Opox using this time to pull ahead. 20,000 points, about one Tetris. Look at that risky play from Opox, but I believe that is very calculated risk considering how fast he can tap. But where's the long bar for Opox? Another delayed burn, but another untimely long bar. But nice to have those burn options. And boom! Tetris for Opox. You could see that long bar almost locking down on column 8. And all the way back to the floor. Tetris from Hydrant, both being very clean here. Hydrant, one Tetris ahead in terms of points, but about the same number of lines. Fox doing delayed burn, very stylish. Hydrant still taking pretty pretty big lead here, 40,000 points, even though they have the same number of lines. So it it does seem like Opox will have to do additional burning with that kind of stack, but this may not be as significant as we think. As oh, nice dirty Tetris. This is still game one, correct? Yes, this is game one. Opox recovering a bit of that efficiency with that dirty Tetris, but now has to burn a little bit more. And Hydrant, not sure what to do with those pieces, but he does get that delayed burn finished before that long bar comes and gets it to another Tetris. Nice talk from Hydrant. Opox building up high, waiting for that long bar and rewarded with a Tetris. Into 100 lines. So 130 lines is when the game will speed up. And now the blocks will drop one pixel, or one unit every two frames instead of every three frames.
very satisfying Tetrises from Hydrant here. A oh, nice tuck setup from Opox. Didn't have many places to put a few pieces, but makes it work. Opox climbing up to 126 lines, so the next Tetris will send him to the transition. Hydrant has a bit of an awkward spire, looking for those nice Z pieces, and gets it, but still quite Z and T dependent on the left. And there goes Opox transitioning at about 520k, I believe. And Hydrant, only one line to work with, and gets the Tetris right as transition arrives. But this is an awkward double line dependence. Kind of bored, but it's now single line dependent. Nice discipline burning from Hydrant. Oh no! Miss dropping those pieces on the center of the board. Hydrant got to tap. I got to roll those pieces all the way to left and right. And he's making it work. Oh man, that is a really awkward formation to burn out of on the right side. Nice Oburn, and that unfortunate L overhang does Hydran in, and that is Opox's game, 670k to 620k. Yeah, that was a very even game going into transition. Both players keeping within one or two Tetrises of each other. And I believe this is match point for Opox. And here we go, round two. Funny stack from Opox starting out of the gate here. Has to do a bit of necessary burn while Hydrant can pull ahead once again. Uh, long bar dependent on the left for Opox. While Hydrant is super clean. Hydrant pulling ahead by several Tetrises over here. That might be a three te two or three Tetris lead. Tetris from Opox. Opox slamming down two Tetrises. Hydrant, a bit of an overhang on the left, but is able to slam down Tetris to get back to a uh, survivable board. Nice way to use that J to slot in that, that hole. Oh, look at T spin. There we go. Opox with a nice T spin to recover the stack. Now, oh. oh, Opox retaking this lead over here as. Hydrant is forced to burn down that awkward formation on the left. So, a bit of a change from last game where Hydrant had the lead, but now Opox firing right back. Opox 
Fox committing to this dig over here on the right side. Meanwhile, Hydra just having a little bit of digging to do with the delayed burn. Tetris for Hydrant. Neck and neck. Here I say. Oh, nice adjustment from Hydrant to make room for that O piece on the center. Silent Tetris. And Opox having the same num same amount of points, but Opox is ahead by four lines, so that does mean Hydrant has a bit of a pace lead. Crossing into 100 lines here for both players. So they gotta start thinking about keeping a clean stack, going into 19 and above. Nice tuck by Hydra. Boom, Tetris 4, Opox, and both players securing a 500k pre-transition score. Very impressive. Definitely max out pace for both of these players. Uh, Opox double J dependent, but resolves one of those J dependencies with that L on the right side. Ooh! I think that might be a misdrop on the right side, and that's very inopportune timing, considering that transition is just four lines away. Wonder how Opox will get out of this. Meanwhile, Hydrant still has a bit of room and a much cleaner board going into transition. And boom, Tetris for Opox. Here we go into 19. Wisely burning it down for Opox. And there we go, Hydrant as well. 621k transition. Very impressive. Opox, lower score and higher lines, so he has less runway to score more Tetrises into 29. Although, both players can play 29, so maybe that won't be too big of a factor. Alright, level 22. Oh! Hydrant? Paused? Um... I'm not too sure what's the... I think uh, uh, Hydrant accidentally paused there. I don't remember exactly his score, or if we're... I think we're just gonna keep playing this... this round. Hydrant getting that dirty triple just for survivability. Meanwhile, Opox is super clean, squeaky clean board. Slamming down two Tetrises, lengthening that lead that was once in Hydrant's possession. Boom, Tetris for Opox and Hydrant. Just fighting for that lead back and forth, back and forth. This will get super exciting as we near infamous kill screen. Alright, 
not many burn options for for Hydrant, but gets that long bar and stays alive. Gets another Tetris. Level 27 for Opox, level 26 for Hydrant, and they are very close in score, but I believe Hydrant has that pace lead, so he might have he will have a higher potential score going into 29. Oh, and both boards are crumbling here. Opox going into the last level 19 speed. And Hydrant also meeting Opox on level 28. Two more lines for Opox to play with. He needs to get down now as the kill screen's about to play out. And here it is. And nice burns from Opox staying alive. Making sure that he keeps lengthening that lead in front of in front of Hydrant. Hydrant's already gotten a max out. Hydrant going to 1.1 territory very, very soon. And Opox is long bar dependent. Unfortunately covers up that dependency, but gets the long bars later. And oh no oh my gosh, that IP's over to the left. That five tap, holy moly. And Opox just getting a little higher with every piece, but he is digging it down. Meanwhile, Meanwhile, Hydrant, also longbar dependent, and is going really greedy for this Tetris, and boom, Tetris for Hydrant, holy moly. And both players are digging back down to a oh, semblance of, of safety. And Opox, once again, longbar dependent on the left, trying to burn down, and will he go for it? He gets the 5-tap! Holy moly, and he burns it down, Hydrant, also in a safe position to probably build up for another Tetris or a triple or something to to increase this lead of 1.0 to 1.2 right here. Hydrant pulling ahead all the way to 1.25, 1.29. We're going to see a, a D on that score very, very soon. And, oh my goodness. <laughs> Hydrant, dude, this getting is that wild. 1.3. It is, it is very wild. Opox, keep staying alive, keeping, oh no, oh no, oh no, the triple long bar hang, and Opox resigns, and Hydrant wins with that commanding 1.3 million, is he gonna go for 1.4? Sure, so this is still, this just, this evens up the score. This, this is, evens up the score, that's this is, so funny. this is tiebreaker right here. We get to see this again. Yes. Bro, <laughs> you won. Save your energy. I think he wants the 1.4 <laughs> the E on the scoreboard. All right, will the longbar come? Oh, no! Okay. Very well played by both players here. Opox knocking on the door to 1.1, and same for Hydrate Buffer 1.4. All right, that was absolute insanity. <laughs> That's what we're here to see. That's what we've Absolutely. come for. I think this would have been an awesome finals match, but unfortunately, they have met each other in... Hey, this is double finals. elimination, so True. this could just be part one of the finals. <laughs> we're getting a little, little taste here. Yeah, this is the preview of what's to come. Because, uh, like, yeah, just a, just a little uh, breakdown for anyone who's not used to single, uh, not used to double elimination. So, winner of this is going to uh, advance to winner's finals, and the other, and the loser will go to loser's finals. So, the loser will have to win one match to uh, meet the winner of this match in grand finals. And those will be uh, first to three. So, honestly, the, the I would say the, the main tangible thing that's unfortunate about them meeting at this point is that this is still first to two, where top four onward is first to three. Yeah. So one of them can just steal the win right here. You know, I'll both plays at 69k each. Very nice. Nice. Tetris for both. Double Tetris for both. Oh, nice Vitz from Hydrant tucking in that long bar. What's a Vitz? Uh, Vitz is an acronym for Vertical Eye Tuck Setup. So usually you'll see this on column 9. So they'll leave a 4 high overhang so that they can drop the bar into 10 and then slot it back into 9 with a tuck. 
That's a crazy acronym. That's yeah. <laughs> I oh, appreciate no. that. I really do, though. Hydrant with a bit of umbrella burning here, staying alive with that nice rolling, but um, still has quite a bit of burning before he gets back to Tetris readiness. Alright, nice safety trip from Hydrant, and I think he'll be Tetris ready soon. Meanwhile, Opox using this time to pull ahead with a 60,000 point lead about. Nice. Burning from Hydrant, and he's now back to Tetris readiness. Whereas Opox has opted for a column 8 Tetris well. And boom, Tetris for Opox decides to move it back, and Hydrant has got a bit of a cheese on the bottom of his board, which was once at the top of his board, but now he's back to safety. So Opox taking a pretty sizable lead here in the early early days. Two hundred twenty-two thousand for Hydrant, two hundred sixty-five thousand for Opox, and they're both at a comparable amount of lines right now. So both will have the same amount of runway going into twenty-nine to rack up as many points as they can. Hydrant opting to play dirty off this uh, this garbage on the floor, but. It looks like he has to, no choice but to burn it down since he'll be denied that Tetris once he slots that long bar. Opox, meanwhile, keeping it clean. Once again, Tetris ready, but also has those burn options for when he needs it. And boom, Tetris for Opox. Meanwhile, Hydrant just playing this really nasty suffer game, looking for the right pieces. Oh, there's the long bar. Perfect timing. And he held out just, just long enough. Really playing it risky here. Oh, Pox, a bit of a delayed burn here at the top. A little scary, but does have the skill to get out of it. I, I have a, I have an entry level question. Sure. How relevant is screen peeking for something like this? Since you know, the, if someone's ahead, like just the same. Yeah. So, screen peeking is pretty useful, for um, especially in level 19 speeds, because then you can just look at the color of the, your opponent's board and see when a long bar might or might not come. Mm -hmm. So you can adapt your play to play more risky or more safe, depending on whether you hear those Tetris sounds coming from your opponent's board. Mm. Although, that does mean you will be spending mental resources looking at your opponent's board and not actually playing, so it could increase the chance of misdrop. So it's a yeah. very double-edged sword. Because then at the, at the same time, you're now... Like, you don't necessarily know how many moves ahead they are. Exactly. You just know that, oh, it's coming, which is like, well, we already well, knew well, that. how far ahead. Yeah. yeah, how long do I have to wait out? But actually, if you're down stacking, it could be super useful because then if you know you're dependent on a piece and it's coming, you'll you'll keep that dependency open. But it is also very risky. Is it a strategy that is like, um, like is there is it encouraged or no one actually cares or um, is it like bad sportsmanship or? I think um, it's. I, I know players who've used it before in tournaments such as uh, Dog in Dog vs Indy CGWC finals. But um, I don't. I think it's fair game. So, uh, uh, so like I guess like the main reason why I ask is just like because then like the physical setup uh, plays a plays a role in it, right? So like say these two are in a more head to head uh, like physical setup instead of side by side, then it would take that out of the game. So. I'm just asking from like uh, uh, like an organizational standpoint, you know, whether it's like it's like you either get it or you don't, then fine, it's whatever. But if there's like merit and stuff, then like oh, it's like oh, it's better off being side by side. I think so uh, that's an option. Or yeah, something. I think tournaments have been okay with either setup. I know, I vaguely remember a head-to-head -head setup where the opponent was listening for the opponent's Tetris sound effects, even if they couldn't see the board, they were just listening for mm. that and, and trying to gauge. Okay, then, so then that, that goes even further if yeah. you have them have, like, <laughs> headphones or something. You know, like, uh, that, that, that gets yeah. really interesting. Yeah, so it's... It, it's just a consequence of the meta once once you decide we're going to play the same piece sets. Yeah. Yeah. It's very interesting, like, things to think about. Like, do I, do I start off with a burn so I'm 
so I'm like further back in the queue. Mm hmm. But, um. Yeah. I'm not sure if these two players are implementing it right now. Maybe I, maybe every now and then. I, I think the, the one of the reasons I, 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 I think I saw it. I think Opox, I saw him move his head, uh, like to glance over. I could be wrong, yeah. but, you know, it's hard to tell yeah. the direction people's eyes are going. Yeah, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes they do that to check the. The pieces, sometimes they check just for the score, because oftentimes mm. in other tournaments they have a live announcer announcing the score, but in this case they cannot hear me, so sometimes they just peek their head over to check what their opponent's score is, which is very useful information. Okay, that that's yeah. also something worth noting. I could put us out into the venue uh, if we wanted, but uh, I, I think we'll probably won't. Alright, here we are once again into level 26 territory, so getting pretty close to the kill screen. Um, Hydrant with a bit of cheese on his board, but is able to dig out of it pretty quickly, and now has a very simple delayed burn to get out of it, but it's not getting the right pieces. Oh, there we go. And boom, touches a Hydrant, level 27, two levels away from 29. And Opox very clean, and slams down another Tetris, taking a commanding 100,000 point lead, and also a few lines back, so he has even more runway and more points than Hydrant going into level 29. So he has less pressure, but that might also give Hydrant the, no the motivation he needs to slam down those desperate level 29 kill screen Tetrises. And will Opox get this long bar? It hasn't been showing up. And there it is! And now he's long bar dependent down the center. Very stressful situation for Opox. Nice, nice solve there for that, for that center burn. And unfortunately, that has given away the lead to Hydrant. And boom, Tetris for Opox first to go into kill screen. And we are going to have well, one hell of a ride. And both players eyeing on that 1.0 right here. Hydrant Tetris ready. Where's the long bar? With the long bar here. No long bar yet. There's long bar. Boom. Hydrant gets a max out with that Tetris. And there is also a max out for Opox. Levels. Round 31. Level 33. Jeez. Both players neck and neck. <laughs> Level almost doesn't matter anymore. They just need to get a higher score because that speed will not stop increasing. And Opox needs... He needs that five tap to the left with that long bar. And Hydrant tops out at, at 1.17 B7. So Opox just needs a B7-2 in order to take this win. This is crazy right now. Opox really needs to stay clean and just line out. Oh, this is tense. Oh my gosh, will he get that L? He gets a long bar, good enough, but also creates another long bar dependency and gets a two wide. Almost there, but not quite just yet. Maybe like two or three more lines will do it. And that is it. it. Opox wins by the skin of his teeth. In the in the very exciting winners semifinals. <laughs> yeah, I th Opox has won. They didn't. They weren't sure if it was first to two or first to three, and he's like, oh, "It's first so to I two. Won. It's first to two. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that will be uh, at least for no, that uh, for both of them. That is their last uh, first to two uh, set. Yes. No, actually, Hydrant is playing in. Losers finals now? Oh no, yeah, uh, that was loser semis, right? So no. Um, uh, where is he going? Oh, okay, no. So Hydrant still has some first to two sets Got to it. go, unless they're still playing. No, oh, I believe that is the end of the I, set. I believe so. Yeah. Um, but they're still. I think Salted just does whatever the hell he wants. I'm, I'm not really sure. Should I go out there and check? I, I will. I'll do that. All right, got it. Right. The, the... No. Also, um... Helper?
Uh, helper. There's a rule set I can show you here that sure. hopefully makes it a little clearer. It says top three is first to three. Yeah, no, Salted had said to me like 10 minutes ago or whatever that top four oh, is goodness. first to three. All right, let, let me, me let me let's try consult and summon the him on the PA. Yeah, yeah. Salted, Salted. All right. That's a cool stuff. Like, it's written here that it's first. It's first at three for uh, top three. <laughs> I was kept my phone back. <laughs> he went teacher mode. Give me your yeah. phone. <laughs> oh no. I, I forgot to, t to delete all of those math answers from my yeah. photos. Dang it. Oh no. Uh, so please don't tell the principal. I, I see a lot of classic Tetris players are not used to double limb. Yes, because yeah. of <laughs> because <laughs> of how long the games are. Yes, because there is no end unless you force a super kill screen at 39. That's very funny. Yeah. Okay, so all right, they're getting up. They're yep, you in up. Yep, yeah. You all right. You're, you're, okay. You're all right. I'm up. Generic. I am up against generic right now. Yeah. In a first to two. First to two. Yes. <laughs> yes first to two. All, all right. right. Passing my phone yes. back.